Let me finish this up before we can get it graded. Got just a couple more simple things we're going to do. Uh, I want you to stamp your initials on this somewhere. I have this box of letter stamps. You can come ask me for these. Uh, we're going to use these to, like I say, stamp our initial or your first name in these. So I've got a few of these. I'll show you how this works. Uh, they're kind of tricky to get to work well. You want to make sure they're facing the right direction and you don't want to hit these a whole bunch. Hitting them, make sure it's flat and give it one good whack. Okay. Uh, you see it didn't quite work great, but that, that's okay. If we end up hitting these a whole bunch, they have a tendency to bounce. And it makes the letter very blurred. So just hit it once. If you feel like you need to hit it again, you can very carefully get it lined up. Make sure it kind of feels like it's falling in the same spot. Give it another whack. Okay. So I've got the next one. I'm got it the right direction. And this doesn't have to look really great. This I just want to make sure we're looking at the right ones. So uh, there's no T. So I've got this I, and I'm just going to do it uh, up and down, and then side to side. So there's my Mr. T. So you've got to stamp your initials in it. I also want you to get a file. These are found in locker number four again. Any corner like this, we're going to round off so we can hold it like this and just kind of work around it go around until we get that whole corner where it feels not too bad so that's not too bad i would like you guys to spend a little more time than that any corner that sticks out so you're going to have at least six one two three four five six if you also have a piece like this, where this was shifted just a little bit, so we've got a sharp edge there, I do want you to kind of file that one as well. And if it's on this side, it's going to be on this side. So there should be no sharp corners anywhere on the whole thing. Once you've got that done, we get the rubric and we can grade it. The rubric is attached in your classroom on this assignment. It's broken up into five categories. Each category is worth 10 points. 10 points per joint. So there are four joints. We have the groove seam, pop rivet, standard rivet, and then the spot weld. And then overall square and appearance. For, for the grooved seam, what I'm looking for is that we've got one side bumped up, the other side is fairly flat. Our stakes are, are deep enough that they're holding everything together, but they're not so deep that it goes clear through. And the easiest way to tell if we did a good job is if we look at the little swirl right there, it's nice and tight, we don't have anything slipped out. So that's what I'm looking for. That would be a 10 out of 10 for the groove seam. Next is the pop rivets. Pop rivets, uh, if they're nice and tight, so if I look at this, there's no gaps there. The pop rivets, both of them are nice and tight. Uh, and there's no extra holes. So if we had to punch extra holes to get things to line up, that's a good thing. Uh, the other big thing we, we notice is if our holes are a little off, this piece of metal right here will we'll have kind of a bump or a bow in it. There'll be kind of a gap right here. So if there's no gap, rivets, we didn't have any extra holes, and the rivets are nice and tight, you can give yourself a 10 out of 10 on those. Uh, in fact, you can kind of see, so I was a little off on these. You can see that little gap right there. That's a sign that uh, my holes were close, but just a little off. So with the standard rivets, we're really we're looking at the exact same thing. Uh, do we have any extra holes? Uh, is, is there a gap from them being just a little bit off? Are the rivets nice and tight? Are our pieces of metal, metal together? 
if we've got just a little bit of separation, that can lose some points there. Uh, last one is the tabs. Now, I am not grading the spot weld. So don't really care what your spot welds look like. I'm really looking at the tabs here. Are our tab angles cut nice? Are they cut to the line? Do they go past the line? So if I had cut this too deep, I would have had a hole right here. I would have a, the, the point would have ended up down here. Um, did we get it square? All right. So that's what we're looking for on the tab or the spot weld. And then the last category is overall, how does it look? Is it square? Did we get everything in the right place? So if this was a quarter of an inch, it should look like this. If we messed up that measurement, these pieces might have fallen apart a little bit. Are the rivets in the right spot? Half an inch in from the side, quarter of an inch in. Are these in the right spot? One inch from the side, quarter of an inch in. Did we get it straight? So I've got this little jog right here, lose a few points for that, but overall it's pretty straight. Sometimes these kind of tend to curve. Um, hopefully we did it so everything is square and nice and straight. So using the rubric, it explains more in detail all of those things. Using the rubric, you're gonna, just like we've been doing in your notebook, give yourself a score out of 10 for each of those categories. Um, you are not limited to five, zero, or 10. You can give yourself 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, no half points though. Give yourself a full point. Don't, don't, don't use half points. Once you've got that done, you bring this up to me. We'll verify your score. And if we've got everything good, it's graded. I entered the grade in the grade book and you can now take this home. Good job.